Hi planners, thanks so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe Tree Plans. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I plan in my A5 Agenda Daily Duo Planner from August 16th through August 22nd. So I'll be doing a little daily spread for each day and just adding a few stickers to embellish as I did here for the previous week. And I wanted to share it with you all. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. If you're watching this video in real time right now is the Erin Condren warehouse sale and if you are an Erin Condren fan or you're new to Erin Condren I suggest you go check it out because the warehouse sale has seriously discounted items a lot of the items are very very discounted and they have a new item every single day of the sale that is discounted so um, I've enjoyed shopping the sale I did go ahead and purchase a few things and I'm excited to get those in the mail. I also wanted to kind of share with you some of the new um, planner things that I've been using. So one of them is this pen by Sharpie. This is an, a felt tip pen. And I just wanted to show you like the packaging it came in in case you wanted to look for it. This is how it came, okay? And I got this from Target. And I'm kind of obsessed with it just because it writes really well. I like Sharpie pens anyway, but the thing about when I use the thinner ones is that they're kind of hard to grip for me. Like for me, bigger pens work when it comes to like my handwriting. So anyway, if you're into that kind of thing, check it out. And just for comparison, this is like a regular Sharpie permanent marker and that's how it looks compared to it. So you can kind of understand sizing with this. I am going to go ahead and add this to my Amazon store. As long as it's on Amazon, I'll go ahead and add it and it'll be in my description below the link. All the links to the items I use in this video will be in my description below. If you want to support me and my channel and help me to create more videos, please consider using my links, especially if you're shopping the warehouse sale, go ahead and click my link. And honestly, even if you're not shopping, clicking my link just to browse or just to show support is always great. So please consider clicking my link in the description below before you are done watching this video. So going into the A5 agenda planner, I really enjoyed planning last week. I'll show you a few of the pages I did. So this page has these cute little stickers from According to Allie. And then these are some more According to Allie stickers. I think these were 90s stickers or early 2000s. I think 90s, um, either 90s or early 2000s, but we got the butterfly clip, the floppy disk, the Game Boy, the Tamagotchi. So I, I really like that spread. And then the previous page, these are some flower stickers from According to Allie that my little cousin colored for me. So she colored them for me and then I went ahead and put them in here. So I thought that was cute and just wanted to kind of show you and give you an idea of what I did for the previous week. So now getting to this upcoming week, I am first going to take out all the pages and I'm going to cut little slits in them because for me, it's kind of annoying to have to do that every single time I open up my planner so I cut slits in them that way they can be removed easily. Now that I did that, I can go ahead and remove the pages like so and then you know put it back so it's super easy now i can go ahead and remove the pages and get started with my planning so i'm going to try to use some of the stickers um that i have on hand i have some happy planner stickers this is from the homebody sticker book and i'm just gonna you know go through here and see what i can use to make this print
All right, so now that I've put these down, now I'm just gonna turn them around and I'm going to cut along this line. As you can see, I think it turned out pretty cute there at the bottom, like a little piece of washi or a border. And now I'm going to take that and I'm gonna put this part right here on the top of this page on the other side so yes i am taking this and i'm just gonna apply it and affix it to this side of the page see that super cute not that difficult to do and a fun way to use your stickers so now I'm gonna go back to planning on the other page. We'll get back to this, but I'm gonna do the same exact thing on this side and then again, apply those again to the next page.
Okay, so now that I am done with my spread, I wanted to do a quick little flip through to show you how it looks inside of the agenda. So we have Monday and Tuesday with the Homebody Seasons sticker book by Happy Planner. Then we have the Mid-Century Circle layout with Mid-Century Circle washi tape and stickers. And these are Erin Condren stickers. I'll put the link to that book below, that sticker book. And this is more of that spread. And as you can see, I put some little details in the middle here too. So if you don't know what to do with those stickers, this video is for you to give you some ideas. And then the last page, I went ahead and finished it off with the flora design because I love flora and it was just one single page. So I figured that I'd just go ahead and use the flora design. So that is my spread for the week. Um, you know, it took me longer than usual because I tried this out, but normally if I wasn't doing this scalloped sticker situation, it would be way shorter of a video and way shorter of a plan with me. So just keep that in mind. Don't let the time that it took me discourage you. Um, I know that I sped the video up, so it's not in real time, but don't let that tedious thing discourage you from planning in your daily planner. That was just because I wanted to do it. I don't always do it. Some days I don't plan with any stickers at all, but I wanted to do this video. And so that is why I decided to use stickers this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider clicking my links and subscribing. I think it was like 60% or 80% of my viewers on my last videos were not subscribers. And that just broke my heart because it means you watched it, but you didn't subscribe. So if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you think you're subscribed, go ahead and check. It's the little red button in the bottom right corner of this video. Go ahead and click it to subscribe to my channel. And on my end screen, I also have a subscribe button when this video ends, there'll be a little circle with my picture. Go ahead and click that so you can subscribe to my channel because I think it just broke my heart to see that a lot of folks who, the majority actually of the folks who are watching my videos are not subscribers. So please subscribe so that you can know when I make new videos and I will also be doing a surprise box video soon. So if you're into the Erin Condren surprise box, please make sure you tune back into my next video and turn those notifications on so that you get a notification when I post it. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Cloetry Plans and I will see you all in the next video.